realize that your leaf blower runs out of gas at the worst opportune time and the fact that you don't even have any premix made, the wind start picks this up, it's going to blow this all back over. That's what I get for having OCD and taking too much time over here. I got it all cleaned up. I don't know. I think I got the coronavirus. Anyway, why some why I'm making this is because uh, this is exactly what I did, except the day that I thought I had coronavirus. I couldn't catch my breath at all. So, um, of course, you saw my other video how much easier it is to do the leaves with the mulching. I'm going to start doing that more often because uh getting too old for bringing the bag the tarps up by myself. But uh, that was a heavy SOB. Wet leaves. But you didn't think that I could improve on Genius. Well, I did. Instead of using bungee cords and using these, and I diapered the back of it. And brought it up here and bungeed it and pinched it like that. So, and then take these two towers and uh, affix it to those so the wind can't blow it back the other way. So, so I'm gonna get and put it up here somewhere so you can see this. If I can't, the wind will start blowing and knock the camera over my phone, or if it even continues. All right, you gotta bear with me here. This is an, about a week or two old video, so I'm gonna narrate this for you. I'm just showing how I pinched the back of it together. It seemed to work okay without having to put a bungee cord around it. And um, so you can see what I'm doing. I use this on leaf jobs, especially when I got to go through areas that are tight and a lot of wind. I can control the leaves from getting everywhere. So this is another tarp that I made. And this is just silt fencing, I think you call it, or lining for landscaping. And um, I got a lot of this material, so I just keep cutting it to where I need it. It lasts about two, three years before you got to replace them. Uh, depends on what you run over. Um, if you run over rocks and stuff, you know, it might start ripping or catches the side of a fence somewhere, you know. Um, but uh, it works pretty good, and I just want a whim. I said, you know what, I gotta figure out something to stop this wind, or I ain't gonna be able to get this job done today. I'm gonna have to come back. And you know, time is money, it wasn't coming back, so. The wind wasn't so bad, it just started picking up towards the end of the day, and I was three quarters of the way done the job. You know how that is. So you see here, I'll just step into it and use the leaf sucker. And right here, I'm gonna show you this. It gets clogged sometimes, primarily with wet leaves there's a lot of sticks um, anybody who's got this machine knows that they can get clogged but you have to kind of you kind of have to feel with the way it works and not just leave it in the leaves you have to almost lift it up a little bit to allow air to get in there and there's a little strap on the side of my trailer that I'm going to yank on it'll unclear it so I'm going to shut up so you can hear it Unclogged again, see? Yank and it unclogs. Keep in mind, this is wet leaves. So this machine is doing an amazing job with these wet leaves. And it will get clogged, but that little technique, it may or may not work for you, but it works for me most of the time. 